Rufino Tamayo was a Mexican painter and printmaker, born on August 25, 1899, in Oaxaca, Mexico. Oaxaca is a state located in the southern part of Mexico. Its capital and largest city is Oaxaca de Juarez. The state of Oaxaca is bordered by the Pacific Ocean to the south, Guerrero to the west, Puebla to the northwest, Veracruz to the north, and Chiapas to the east. Oaxaca is known for its rich cultural heritage, diverse indigenous communities, and stunning natural landscapes, including mountains, forests, and beaches. Rufino Tamayo initially learned how to paint at the Academy of Fine Arts in Mexico City, where he studied from 1917 to 1921. However, he was dissatisfied with the conservative academic approach to art that was taught there, and so he left the Academy to pursue his own artistic vision. Tamayo's interest in pre-Columbian and indigenous Mexican art also played a significant role in his artistic development. He studied the art and traditions of indigenous communities throughout Mexico, incorporating elements of their art and culture into his work. He also traveled to New York City in the 1920s, where he was exposed to modern art movements such as Surrealism and Expressionism. This exposure to new artistic styles helped shape his unique artistic vision and approach to painting. Tamayo's style was characterized by a mixture of Mexican folk art and modern European art movements such as Surrealism and Abstract Expressionism. He often used bright colors and simple forms to create paintings that explored themes such as nature, humanity, and the Mexican culture. Rufino Tamayo's art techniques were varied and evolved over the course of his career, but some of his most notable approaches include use of color. Tamayo was known for his use of bold, vibrant colors, often applied in thick layers that created a sense of depth and texture in his paintings. Simplification of forms. Tamayo's style often involved simplifying forms, reducing them to their most essential elements in order to create a sense of abstraction and universality. Mixographia. Tamayo's development of the mixographia printing process was a significant innovation in the field of printmaking, allowing artists to create prints with a greater sense of texture and depth than was previously possible. Exploration of Mexican culture. Tamayo often drew inspiration from Mexican folk art, particularly the art and traditions of indigenous communities. He also explored themes related to Mexican identity and culture in his work. His paintings and prints helped to promote a sense of pride and celebration of Mexican culture both within Mexico and around the world. Experimentation with materials. Tamayo used a variety of materials in his work, including oil paint, acrylics, and watercolors, as well as unconventional materials such as sand, marble dust, and sawdust, which added texture and depth to his paintings. Tamayo's works have been exhibited in numerous solo and group exhibitions around the world, including the Museum of Modern Art in New York, the Centre Georges Pompidou in Paris, and the National Museum of Anthropology in Mexico City. In 1987, he was awarded the Order of the Aztec Eagle, the highest honor given to a civilian in Mexico. Rufino Tamayo created many artworks throughout his career that are considered famous and important, and it's hard to pinpoint just one. However, some of his most notable works include Animales. This painting from 1941 is a surrealistic depiction of nocturnal animals in a dark forest. It is considered one of Tamayo's most important works and is housed in the permanent collection of the Museum of Modern Art. Retrato de Olga. This painting from 1964 is another iconic Tamayo work. It shows a human figure in bright colors against a dark and bright background with Tamayo's signature use of watermelons. Sandias, watermelons. This painting from 1969 is considered one of Tamayo's most famous works. It depicts a group of watermelons in Tamayo's signature style, with bold colors and simple forms. Tamayo was also known for his printmaking, particularly his mixographia prints, which were made using a unique printing process that he developed in collaboration with a workshop in Mexico City. His mixographia prints are highly sought after by collectors and are considered some of the most innovative works in the medium. Some of Rufino Tamayo's most expensive paintings sold at auction include Trovador, 1945, which sold for $7.2 million at Christie's New York in 2008. 
Pero Orlando a La Luna, 1944, for $5.8 million in 2018. And Sandias, 1980, for $4.9 million in 2019. It's worth noting that these prices are subject to change based on market conditions and other factors, and that Tamiya created many other important and valuable works throughout his career. He died on June 24, 1991, in Mexico City, Mexico, and is widely considered one of the most important artists of the 20th century in Mexico and one of the most recognized Latin American artists worldwide. Tamayo's work has been exhibited in numerous solo and group exhibitions around the world, and his influence can be seen in the work of many contemporary artists. His legacy as one of Mexico's most important and influential artists continues to be felt to this day.